Hey there, all my beautiful people, perverts, and fucking haters. It's Candy, and tonight you're going to cook a dinner with me. Tonight I am making, what do they call this, Tuscan tortellini soup. Now I don't make it exactly the way the um, recipe calls, so I will put the recipe up here for you, or here, or somewhere on here, but I'm going to give you the ingredients that I'm going to use tonight. You're going to need a yellow onion. I'll probably use about half of this, not the whole thing, because it's kind of a big onion, so I'll probably only use about half of this. You're gonna to wanna to chop that up. You're gonna want four cloves of garlic, and I use this already cut up garlic. You are going to want to use a little bit of salt, just uh, just a, really just a little bit, kind of like a pinch of salt. You're gonna use some red pepper flakes, a few of those. You will need a 20 ounce, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This is my favorite one, 28 ounce can of that. Four cups of chicken broth. You can either get it however you want to do it, but four cups of broth. You will need two, it says two nine ounce packages of tortellini. Pete grabbed um, a 20 ounce, which is just a couple ounces more. No big deal. We like a lot of tortellini in any house, so no harm, no foul on that. Five ounces of baby, or I use baby spinach, just spinach in general. You can get it in bundles. However, this is just the the best that looked at the grocery store for us that day. Some shredded Parmesan, whatever Parmesan you wanna use, girl. And some kind of chicken, sausage, whatever links. We choose to use this beef kielbasa, pasta kielbasa. When I was a kid, got, by, by the way guys, I thought it said pasta kielbasa. Like kielbasa, anyhow. Anyhow, yeah, embarrassing. But we're gonna use this today instead of any kind of like chicken linked sausage because this, with my food psyche, this at least, somehow I can manage. The recipe does call for some white beans to put in it, but neither of us really dig beans like that, so we just kind of leave that out. Oh, and also the recipe did call for cheese tortellini, but Pete grabbed this Italian sausage with Parmesan in it tortellini, just to try something a little different. So let me go cut up the stuff I need to cut up, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so you're gonna go and you're gonna cut your onion up. You can, I mean, you can mince it if you wanted to. That's still a lot of onion, it's like half of the onion. Can you believe how much that is? Oh, you might want to put about a teaspoon, tablespoon, I'm sorry, about a tablespoon of olive oil in your pot, in a big pot like this, and get it warmed up, not too hot. Mine got too hot, I had to take it off and cool it down a little bit. Um, and then you're gonna add your onion that you cut up which, hell, I only did half the onion. Is that much onion? Girl. Okay, so we're gonna add our onion, and we're gonna let it cook and get like nice and golden and kind of tender. About six minutes. Okay, guys, I'm only gonna use half of my kielbasa because since Pete got the tortellini with the Italian sausage in it, I'm only gonna use about half of it because, you know, I'm not, I mean, I can take this out. The other sausage I can't, you know, so. Um, I'm just gonna use just half of that. It says to let your chicken links or whatever cook in there um, with it for about four more minutes, but since this is already cooked, it's like you're pretty much just heating it up and you're gonna heat up the next step too. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for maybe like a minute or two and then we'll start adding the rest. Okay, so now that that's cooked down a little bit, we're going to add, let's see if I can open this because that's my life. There we go, I got it, yay, victory. We're going to add four cloves so um, when you use this clove, it's, when you use this clove, when you use these men's cloves, one half teaspoon is about one clove. So we're gonna put four of these in there. Do a little less on that last one. I kinda went overboard on the others. We're going to add one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Now we're going to add our chicken broth. our tomatoes that I cut the wrong side. That's okay. It's okay, girl. Nobody's judging here. Except for all that splashing around you're doing on the damn stove, girl. Okay, then you're gonna mix that all up. Sorry, there's no light here. You gotta go to the depot and get them because it burnt out and you're gonna season off with some salt and pepper. Do however you wanna do, girl. I am not like a perfectionist. I mean, I am a perfectionist, but when it comes to this, not at all, just a little, look at this big thing. Could you imagine dropping this in there? Let's not even do that, you know my life. Y'all know already know how my life is, so let's just not 
play Russian roulette today. Okay guys, so we're gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it up to about medium, six-ish, you know, and then whenever it starts to become a rolling simmer, it says we're gonna add the tortellini and I'll turn it down to about four and let it simmer. So when this starts, I'll be right back. So as you guys can see, it's boiling really, really good now. I'm going to add the tortellini. I don't know how much, to be honest, exactly I'm going to add. I was gonna add the whole container, but since these are a little bit bigger, right, with the sausage in them, maybe I shouldn't add the whole. So I'm just gonna kind of fill it out as I put it in here and see, ooh, dropped that one on the eye almost, um, how many I need to, do you remember the old eyes, guys? The old ones, that like the burner ones? They're not old, hell, they still sell them. We always had those growing up. Man, you dropped something in that. That was that was the end of that. You didn't have a treat. Oh my God, and then it would stink up and burn and you try to stick something down there but you're afraid to get electrocuted. Oh, that was so stressful. I don't know, guys. I think I could probably add the rest of the tortellinis. What do you think? I have a little more tomatoes and um, chicken broth if I wanted to add a little more, but I only have this many, so I think, fuck it, let's just put them all in. I overdid it with dumplings one time, with chicken and dumplings, so now I'm always so scared of that happening. I don't even think that we actually even really need to add any more, like, sauce to either tomatoes or um, chicken stuff. What do you think? Okay, guys, I actually did add some extra crushed tomatoes to it. I always have one of these little boxes on hand. So I did add that and about a cup and a half more chicken stock. It's going to start boiling here now. So as soon as it does, we're going to turn it down to about a four. No, it's on a four now. So probably to about a two. And we're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. It looks so, so good, doesn't it? Oh, and I also want to add, I did add, 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 add a couple more spices, um, just a little more, you know, salt and pepper and red pepper flakes, just because I did add more tomatoes and chicken stock. Mmm, look at that boiling, guys. So go ahead and turn it down to, you know, a lower temperature to where you can simmer it. And we're going to set our timer for 20 minutes. Okay guys, it is looking good. Last step is, this is already washed, already went through it girl. It's pre-washed really good, but I did go through it to make sure because you can always get a bad bag girl, don't play. So always make sure you go through it first. I just put it back in this bag. So now we're gonna add the spinach. This is where you would also add your white beans or any other kind of bean. You could probably put corn. Corn would probably be really good in this. I didn't think about that next time girl. We're gonna add our spinach to this and pretty much just let it wilt. We're gonna stir it in, and we're just gonna let it wilt about one minute. It'll all come out of the bag. I mean, if not, you know. Stir that in there. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Can you guys see? I'll show you, it's so pretty, actually. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness, guys, look how good this looks. I used to never eat anything with leaves like this in it. I would freak out, but I guess that's what's uh, good about getting old is you start eating um, things you would consider old people food when you were younger. Okay, sorry for the wild angle, but my tripod doesn't like to work here. So, go ahead and put some in a couple bowls. Look how good this looks, guys. So good. of the sauce. Pete's more all about the tortellinis and I'm more about the juice girl. Can't nobody stop the juice. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your... Aren't they so pretty? I love them. Let's open this parmesan up. Oh God, does anybody else struggle with these? Anybody else? Oh, girl, gotta have a scissor. Scissors always on deck. All right, and take a big fucking handful. Pete loves, loves that. This is really good, actually. It's not waxy at all. So I'm gonna, it's not Parmesan like this is waxy. No, this is super good. So it makes you get a lot of that up in there people be like that's heaven for him i know i know someone's gonna be like are you serious guys he uses a whole bag of fucking cheese and salad okay girl
Okay, guys, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's not too, too hot. I'm gonna try it. It looks so good. I'm literally holding. It's really hot, I can see the steam. I might not be able to try it yet. We may have to come back. Hold on one sec, let's see. I'll get a little taste here. Hot. Really? <laughs> Your face is like, yeah, it's really hot. I want to hog it, but it's hot. That's really good. The soup, the soup part's really good. Is he up in his bed? Charlie's going to town. It must smell pretty good because it got him turned on, girl. Hmm. Were you able to try a tortellini yet? Is it good? Yeah, I like it's just really hot. <laughs> it looks really hot. I don't think I can. There's a piece of pasta in here, maybe. Like a piece of one, you know? Oh, it seems... Look how hot that is. Do you guys see that? It's like fucking steaming. It's really good. Ooh, the sausage in the tortellini is really good too. It's like really good addition. Good job, babe. High five. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me tonight. I'll put the recipe below for you too. If you have anything like this or any kind of additions, this is the stuff that I like to cook because it's easy for me. I prefer mostly vegetables and no weird fucking meat, like we aren't doing no rabbit fucking stew here, girl. If you do try, look, by the way, by the way, look what he just came in here with. <laughs> Gotta put some more cheese on, man. And y'all thought that was a lot of cheese. I told you, I told you. If you do happen by chance to make this, let me know how it came out, how you like it, and I think next time I might add some corn to it. What do you think about some corn to it, babe? I think that might be pretty good. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be nice to each other because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye, guys.